skip through all this garbage. Let's see what it does. Bingo Bango! Check it out! Client Machine going to the DNS server in a different network segment, and that DNS server forwarding that traffic onto Google's DNS, and we're also using a, a good firewall rule, allowing that traffic on the LAN segment where the DNS server lives to go out and get that sweet, sweet internet. So on YouTube here, I'm actually doing a bit of a series on Active Directory and setting up this Active Directory in a home lab type environment. So I'm going through and I'm doing a virtual box. And so in this video, I'm confident that a lot of you have been in this situation before where you've got a, a client machine that is part of a domain and that, that domain machine might be in a different network segment, but you just can't get to the internet. So I'm going to show you some settings that you can do on your DNS server to allow traffic through and do some resolution out on the actual internet. All right, let's dig in. Depending on how you want to configure your home lab here, you need to take some special considerations on how does this DNS server actually use the internet traffic from that client to the DNS server. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to take that connection and actually forward that traffic onto a, a different server, and I'm going to be choosing Google. In your Windows 22 server, go ahead and open up your server manager. And then we're going to open up our DNS portion here, and we're going to go over to our DNS server. And I want to go down to DNS manager. And it's it's right here. We've got our manager right now. We can make all kinds of configurations. And so setting up a forwarder is actually quite easy. All we need to do is right click on the DNS server itself, go on down to properties, and we're going to go to forwarders. So when traffic goes to this server to resolve, this server is going to say, I don't, I don't do that name resolution. I'm going to send you to somebody that can do that. And they're going to send it over to potentially one of these. Let's go ahead and, and actually add the IP address for Google's DNS. Eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. Okay, and we can see that it actually has found the fully qualified domain name, which is a great sign. Click apply. Hit OK. Now we've set up a, a DNS forwarder. Before we go ahead and check that the client can connect to the internet through our DNS server, we do need to make sure that the firewall rule on our router is allowing. UDP traffic out on port 53. Now we did see that the fully qualified domain name worked. We saw dns.google. That means it worked, but we do need to look at that rule just to see see what it looks like. I've switched. I'm standing up now. <laughs> just felt like it. Log into our server again here. Now I want to go and look at the router. And if you're watching this series, I've got everything behind a PFSense machine. So let's open up our, our browser here and head on over to PFSense itself and check the firewall. Brings us to our dashboard for PFSense. And I want to go and look at the firewall rule. But specifically, I want to look at the rules where my domain server has potential access to the internet. And in this case, I have it on the LAN side. And I do have a rule right here that's saying TCP and UDP traffic is allowed from the internal LAN network, anybody on the LAN network, to go out. And I've got an alias here that's saying uh, 80 and 443, that's TCP. Those can go out. And I also have a 53 
port going out, and that would be the UDP traffic. Okay, so now if I was going to redesign this rule, I'd actually change this rule to allow maybe just UDP. Let's go ahead and do that actually. Destination, kill this. It's not my alias anymore. And it's just going to be port 53. And I don't want to have TCP. We're only going to do UDP. Save that. Apply changes. And so now my rule looks like anybody on this LAN net is allowed to go out on port 53. You know, let's make it even let's make it even more specific. And not land net, but I want to make it a single IP address. That's even better. Beautiful. And that's the actual IP address of my DNS server. We could actually go and validate on our server that we can actually still go out. Let's go and do that. I'm gonna right click here and go to my dns manager and right click this properties forwarders still able to resolve beautiful okay bingo bango and now let's go to our windows 10 machine and we're going to see if we can get to the internet now skip through all this garbage let's see what it does Bingo bango, check it out. Client machine going to the DNS server in a different network segment, and that DNS server forwarding that traffic onto Google's DNS. And we're also using a, a good firewall rule, allowing that traffic on the LAN segment where the DNS server lives to go out and get that sweet, sweet internet. All right, folks. Thanks for watching.